Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to talk about how you can adjust indents. So I've got a document on the screen without any indents in at the moment, and I just want to go through where they are and how you can put them on and then adjust them. So if you click into the first paragraph of a document, you can look at the ruler and you can see, first of all, the left indent sitting in the margin area, just on the edge of the margin area. Just move that across a little bit. That dark area is the margin area, and you can adjust that as well. I see left indent group, and on the right of the margin, you've got the right indent. Now, if I wanted the whole document to be set the same, I could just do Control A. It's going to pick up the titles as well. So maybe you want to do this before you type, but if you have already got a document, Unfortunately, you're going to have to do it um, bit by bit unless you're going to pick the headers up. So if I want to indent this first paragraph to, say, two centimetres, I just simply have to pull the rectangle part of this indent. When I point to it, it says left indent to the position that I want. If I pull the top triangle forward to the three centimetre mark, what I'm doing there, in effect, is creating a first line indent. First line indent. If I push that back... If I grab the second triangle, the bottom triangle, but above the rectangle, see it says hanging indent there, that'll just do the hanging, hanging indent as you can see there. Now if I push that back together, they become one thing. So to move it all together, you grab the rectangle, that moves it all. If you've got it split, so I'll just split this for a second and move the rectangle, it still moves it all but maintains the split, as you can see there. So sometimes you have to do this and fix it yourself. Now the hanging indent that you saw, where basically it's, it's the bottom part that moves, it's something you're not likely to do yourself manually. It's more gonna happen to you when you perhaps put a bullet list on or a numbered list. You see that I've activated the bullet or if I did a number, you have a hanging indent. So that's showing you the body of the text. That's showing you the first line of the text. And if I move the rectangle to the margin, you also get this happening in documents where the, the numbering is in the margin, but the body is on the margin line. So that's where you get the hanging indent coming in. Now, because I've taken that off, that number off, it's dropped the whole thing into the margin. I don't want that, so I'm just going to put it back on there. Key command to do to reset this. If I just push that there and do a split one, if I do Control and Q, that resets a paragraph. So that's just shoved everything back to the left. Now on the right hand side of the ruler, you have another indent marker, but this is the right indent. So if I just pick that up and bring it in, and pick the left one up and bring that in, you can see why you may do this. You may be doing a menu or a um, some sort of event schedule that you want to be centered in the actual paper and this is not centered at the moment the text so you do center is centered between the two indents and the indents are there on the right and there on the left and again if I do control Q it will reset paragraph took the indents off and went left now, if you haven't got the ruler, you're struggling a bit to do this, obviously. So you must make sure you've clicked on view and ruler to activate it. Once you've done that, it should stay there. You don't have to keep doing that. With the ruler on, you can see indents, obviously, and you can see tabs. Now, on a blank document, if I just do control N to get myself a new document, you might want to set this up straight off. So if I say I want every paragraph to be first line indent, in, indented like that, when I type text, I'm just going to type some rubbish across the screen. If I just press enter there, and again, the next paragraph has got first line indent, and every other paragraph will have first line indent, because I just set it at the beginning. Now, if I just control A and delete all of that, get rid of all of that, and then go into the paragraph group, this little arrow, down arrow, paragraph settings this is another place where you can set the indentation this is the indentation group 
you've got left, right, and then special, which is basically where you get the first line indent and hanging indent. You can also do spacing before and spacing afterwards and line spacing from this box. All of these features and left alignment at the top, obviously, you can set up before you even start typing. And down the bottom there, you've got a link to tabs. So I'll just do it and show you what I mean. So if I just say, let's have a 2.4 centimeter indent and leave everything else the same, click OK. That's, kept, that's coming to 2.4. Now, the benefit of doing that is that you can be very precise in what you're typing, whereas this method is quicker, but how do I get it to 2.4? You know, there's, there's a marker there, 2.5, and there's one at 2.25, but 2.4 is probably somewhere like that. If I go back in, that was a very lucky guess, but you, you see what I mean. It's easier to set a precise figure in this box than trying to wiggle left and right to get it right and then still have to come into this box to check it anyhow click OK to that so I'm just going to control Q to get that indent off now one of the um, biggest issues I think with indents or, or people not knowing about indents is when they're trying to do a letterhead and they want their address over on the right here what you get people doing is all sorts of weird and wonderful things some, some people will space bar all the way across and then just type or start to type the address block press enter comes back over there and they're doing all that again well that's just nonsense to do that plus if I put show hide on there's all these positive spaces I've added in there that's going to be part of this line so if I just do control a and delete that the other one would be people would tab across and then type now, this is not as bad but you still have to tab back across now you could put a tab on I'll just control a uh, get rid of that you could put a tab over here a right a left tab which is that one it's already showing left and then I won't have to press tab a hundred times to get over here I can just press tab once type my address press enter tab once like so so that's not too bad control a delete get rid of them just take show hide off for a minute because it's irritating me what you don't want to be doing is what some people do and some schools even even teach this write a line and then start doing this so the address is on the right side of the page but it is right aligned which means it's coming in off the margin and it doesn't look right and it should not be there and if I type in a lot if I type a longer address look at that that's not meant to be like that that is not how you do it so I'm just going to control a that delete that what you should be doing is using an indent so if I just take this indent block across to 10 centimeters probably 11 centimeters actually and then type you've basically moved the margin across to that point everything stays over at the 10 centimeter mark and also as you're typing I don't live here by the way as you're typing it stays there until you're finished and when you're finished you just press enter do control Q and that will bring it back across for, from that line onwards type dear sir etc madam and then type your letter and if you've got some in auto text you can just put that in there I haven't got ending. No, I've just got intro. Oh, I have. There it is. And then you've, you've got your letter very quick. And there's your indent. Indent marker for those lines. Indent marker for the lines below. So that's just a, a quick look at how to do an indent. Now I want to show you how you can do an indent with a border. So if I just get rid of this. In fact, I'll leave. Yeah, I'll get rid of this. And I'll just put a title on the top here introduction let's, let's say I want all of this text to have a right indent but only down this this bit of the page not the top line because on the top line I want to put something there so first of all I'm going to make them justified then I'm going to do a right border a right border so I've got a line down that side but I want some text there so if I click on this top line the indents are clear there's no indents 
I want a right tab, one click, two clicks, a right tab to go on at, um, let's just set this in the market in a bit, say there, so I can put it in there, so I have to just click, click it onto the ruler first and then move it, so if I click it there and then just pick it up, move it in, so now if I press tab, I can then do action points like so, now this needs to come over across, so if I just highlight this again, bring the right indent marker for the rest of this in, so it gives me that space, so action points has now got some space for people to write with a pen, not type, because you can't type there. So this is where you might have minutes, this might be a numbered list or a bulleted list, or a numbered list looks better. These are the points, you want people to sign, maybe action points or sign, or write something that they've done this on a hard copy. Now if I do control Q on this one, gets rid of the number in, it gets rid of the borders, but it didn't clear this paragraph indent if I try it on that one. Sometimes it doesn't work, and then if that's the case, you're gonna have to do it manually. Uh, and that's, it's probably because of this, but I'll just highlight these manually and pull that one in. So I want it back as it was. So that's a quick look at how you can adjust indents, how you should use them, and where they are. So hopefully you found this useful. Thank you for your time, and I'll see you on the next one.